I'm just reporting Let's on what you're doing. Are you a journalist? Yes. You're not a what? journalist. What? Let's Apple. also read Rebel remember. News. Rebel News. Do you, can we put an Extinction Rebellion logo on that? Given no, that if it's going to get you to talk to us, then why not? I think you're an absolute disgrace. Okay. Harvey Mini here for Rebel News in Melbourne, Australia. The past week, this lovely bunch have been camping out right here in Carlton Gardens. It's been a week of what they call climate action to spread awareness about the climate emergency. The problem is that this bunch have taken up a couple of controversial tactics that seem a little hypocritical. So we're here today to find out why they're such hypocrites. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Are you feeling like this was a successful week? I think it was, yes. yes. Do you think Melburnians are now going to, you, you've opened hearts and minds by blocking the city off all week? I think they might start thinking about it. Guys, can I just ask you a quick question? Yeah. Have these lot convinced you that climate emergency is really important now that they've blocked the city off all week for you? Oh, no, not one bit. Seriously, what's wrong with you? It's a, the, what's wrong with you? The world is ending. <laughs> When's it ending? Don't you think when you lock down the city like that, people are not talking about climate, they're talking about the a-holes that are stopping them from getting in and out of work. Is that not? Yeah, uh, we don't do this with the expectation that, you know, everyone is going to be our friend about it. We're doing it because we have no further options available to us. You could do it without blocking off the city. Yeah, but then we'd be ignored. Honestly, I don't, I don't think anyone actually cares. About what? About any of this, you know? People just want to get on with their lives, to be honest. Does it help your cause, though, that the only reason why people are not ignoring you is because they're angry at you? Yeah, I, I think it does. Do you think uh, so far this week has been successful? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you've changed some hearts and minds? You hope so? Yeah. Last night we lost two tables because they couldn't get here on time. And that's about it. If they want to protest, very well. I'm all with them. But they can go and sit in the parliament house and disturb the... Last Friday you guys drove a truck, a diesel truck, into the centre of the CBD. Yeah forcing hundreds of vehicles to burn petrol for hours until police bring a diesel. Really allow a lot of space for I asked, so can you answer that? Yes, I, I have. I've got I no comment. You're, like, you're complaining that I talk too much, but you don't want to answer. I used to be a climate scientist. It's a huge deal. You used to be a climate scientist? Yes. I used to work for Ernst & Young, a company in the city, for the climate change and sustainability team. Do you think that makes people of Melbourne turn around and go, oh wow, climate emissions is really a problem, I need to do something, or do you think they turn around and go, these guys are full of crap? That what? is indeed a very good question. Let's take a minute to respond because it's complicated. Why don't, in another way, how would you do it? I'm not um, the one protesting. I just wouldn't do it the one way that yeah, I'm yes, advocating give, give, against. Give, give us an alternative and I, um, we were listening to you. Anything but burning diesel. I didn't bring a pen and paper, so all of this information might overwhelm me and make my position to answer your questions but difficult. I'm, you're, but you're a scientist. It should come pretty naturally. Why don't you actually... Listen. I'm happy to listen. He says he doesn't want to talk. Yeah, you just want to talk. I don't want to talk. I got questions. It caused gridlock in the middle of the city, right? Yeah. Which is no fossil fuels being burnt. They're literally standing there in gridlock, burning. The city doesn't need cars or trucks. So why did they need to do it? Why did they need to, to use show, a truck? To show the community. The aim of this uh, interview is to intimidate you to the point well, that you, come say, on, you, mate. Say, you say stuff that, that oh, looks bad. bad you know, oh, no, I'm yeah. speaking the truth. Yeah, I know, I know. But that's, he can talk. That's Let him talk. He's an adult. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm intimidating. John, come on. Are you working for the police? Help us rather than... Maybe not diesel car. trucks. Not diesel trucks. Can we cut diesel out? If we're, if we're, if we're protesting against the use of... Diesel, let's not use diesel trucks to make a point because everybody will call us hypocrites. How about we start there? You're welcome to join us when, for when we plan the next action. We heard earlier this week that one of the organisers drives a cement truck. Do you think that's, that's a bit hypocritical? No. How is that not hypocritical? Well, I mean, you know, the inventor of the light bulb worked by candlelight. We're, like, we're defined by the strictures of the society in which we live. And I don't think the fact that we have to engage and participate in them to live should uh, preclude us from working to change it. The, the, guy, against, uh, the guy who d developed the light bulb was not against the candle. 
he wasn't advocating against the candle. He just wanted to perfect it and make it better. You're, you are advocating against and you are advocating for people to lose their job. That is called hypocrisy. So you're saying these, they don't have jobs, they're not working? Is that what Most of them, except the organiser. He, he drives a cement truck. <laughs> That is the definition of hypocrisy. Maybe we need to go and uh, Don't agree with that, that and I don't... Do you think he should quit? No. This guy uh, is a right winger who is I'm trying to make it bad. I'm just okay. walking in the park. <laughs> Stop bullying me. <laughs> One of the things that are important for Extinction Rebellion is that we are non-hierarchical. What does this mean? No individual is supposed to or should have any power over any other individual. So they should not impose. He thinks he's a journalist, he's not a journalist. You've been asked by about three people yeah. to not do this. Can I'm the here in messaging? Do yeah. Can you please not? Extinction Rebellion is a decentralized movement. So we don't have a leader that we all follow like zealots. No. One last thing. Yes. Hi. Does he have permission? Three times to not. Hold on, I swear that before he told me. No individual is supposed to or should have any power over any other individual. So they should not impose. So who's that woman telling him what to do? I'm I'm here here I often get called all sorts of nasty names, sometimes pushed and other times violently attacked at these events. Sticks and stones can break my bones, words, they never hurt me. But Ezra doesn't let me come to these without security anymore. Now this security is only funded by your generosity at home at journalistdefensefund.com. If you're willing, you're able, please chip in. It's what funds our work. It ensures that I can come in with a cameraman, with security, the editors, and all the great staff that make this possible. Journalistdefensefund.com. We can't do it without you. How you going, guys? Are you here for the... No. Nah. We're a bit confused yeah, about what, what's, what's all going on. You guys just look like you were here for the... <laughs> I'm, I, I want to stand here and apologise for assuming that you were part of That's this. Completely fine. Was it a successful week, you reckon? Your I'm good, aren't I? Do you like my videos? They're very interesting. I, I used to be in the oil field, and I can tell you all those flags, all that ink is all oil based. So, there you go. <laughs> what do to they want? I, I don't think they know, bro. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> Bro, I know what the problem is. Your skateboard is not eco-friendly. <laughs> I don't know about that. A hundred percent, bro. hundred percent. Ask this lot. You need to try that with a diesel truck. With a diesel truck. It's more, more eco-friendly. If you enjoyed this report, make sure to like, comment, and share because the mainstream media will not do as good of a job as rebelnews.com. And then make sure to head over to rebelstore.com.au to get yourself some of that epic new merch. And finally, before YouTube manages to fully de-platform us, head over to afteryoutube.com and sign up so you never, ever miss one of our reports.